Hello everyone, welcome to Study IQ IS English channel. My name is Shubham Sagar and today we'll talk about why is Brahmos in news. Before we talk about that, as we are talking this particular thing in every you know previous lecture of ours because this is a very very sensitive time. So whatever information we are about to discuss, everything is in political domain, we are in no way compromising our nation security. As we have talked about this, now let's move forward to the article, Indian Express, page number 1, May 12, 2025, Brahmos, not just a weapon, but a message in itself, says Rajnath Singh, sir. And this particular article, published in May 12, like on like hard copy Indian Express on May 12, but they have given the soft copy version on May 11 itself. Okay, cool. Here there are certain keywords, Brahmos missile development. So, see, integration and tense testing center has been launched in Lucknow right now, and that's why... Brahmos is in news, but then other stuff becomes important. What is Brahmos? So it's a cruise missile. Cool. Is it a subsonic or a supersonic cruise missile? It is a supersonic cruise missile. Cool. Uh, like which countries are involved in the development of Brahmos? Two words are there. Brahmaputra and Moscow, these two rivers. So collaboration of India and Russia. They can always change it. They can say that it is a collaboration between, oh my God, India and France, India and Germany. So be very wary. Then like... Will it support India's Make in India program? Yes. Are we planning to export it to other countries? Yes. What is the name of such countries? Ex one example is Philippines. Is China very happy about, you know, export of Brahmos missile to other countries? The answer is no. Philippines, South China, see there are other issues. So there are multiple dimension of this particular article and we have to know as many as possible. So let's start. Brahmos missile deployment India used like... Operation Sindur, we are very proud of it. Currently, we are going through ceasefire. But as I have talked about it yesterday, I think when I made a video on whether our, like how safe is Delhi from Pakistani missiles, we have talked about that. We cannot trust Pakistan because they have violated ceasefire earlier. And in that regard, Brahmos missile becomes very important. So India used Brahmos supersonic missile during Operation Sindur and to target Pakistani air bases because they started it. They killed 26 innocent tourists of ours. Or, you know, they are operative LET, Lashkar e Taiba, or affiliate of Lashkar e Taiba. We, we are not concerned with that. The thing which is very crystal clear, not only to India, but even to world is China sponsored these people. They have sponsored, sponsored them in the past and they have sponsored it or sponsored this, these particular agents in the present as well. So inauguration of Brahmos facility, please remember, they can ask you in some exam that where the recent Brahmos facility has been inaugurated. The answer is Lakhdau, significance of Brahmos. As Rajnath Singh sir is saying that it is more than just a weapon. It's a symbol of India's armed forces. And sometimes you need strength because strength will counter strength. And that is what Rajnath Singh sir is saying. He is invoking APJ Abdul Kalam sir's statement that strength respects strength. So if you want respect, Respect. You know, there is also a quotation that be brave. Even if you are not pretend to be, no one can tell the difference. Again, it has nothing to do with this one. But again, we have to be brave in this world. If you are not brave, people will take advantage of you. As a country also, we are brave. We have to be brave because we are chira mean, you know, surrounded. Oh my God. We are surrounded by two nuclear powered countries. Very similar to Israel, if you see. But we are much bigger than Israel. And we have so much things to take into consideration. So yes, Singh invoked, uh, again, do remember, strength respects strength. Operation Sindur, and here he's talking about Operation Sindur, and we, there is a difference here. We targeted Pakistan. We targeted their terrorist sites. We did not target the civilians. In India, they targeted our civilians. This is actually a very, very cowardish act, you know. So, zero tolerance policy. We have an Operation Sindur was highlighted when this inauguration was going on. Defense infra infrastructure, it's again a joint Indo-Russian venture. Do remember, Bra if you're talking about Brahmos, Brahmaputra and Moscow, other defense project along with this whole, you know, uh, Brahmos integration center, we also have a super alloy material plant, titanium and all these because strategic material Material, all these materials they are actually very important and uh, okay let's move on let's move on and let's talk about the core issue the core issue is what is Brahmos two words Brahmaputra Moscow supersonic cruise missile in again yesterday's lecture when we have talked about how safe is Delhi from Pakistani missiles we have talked about and I think previously also we have talked about these three terms which are important from exam perspective subsonic supersonic and hypersonic so let's say one Mac there is a unit here one Mac is speed of the sound 1 Mac is speed of sound. Less than 1 Mac. Less than 1 Mac. That is subsonic. And if you have greater than 1 Mac, and if you have equal to 1 Mac, that is son sonic speed, greater than 1 Mac, 
supersonic and greater than 5 mag hypersonic so brahmos is a supersonic cruise missile again there are terms here which we have discussed earlier also you can go back and watch my previous videos also there's a whole playlist also on saga sir videos so so cruise missile ballistic missile upsc has already asked a pyq in i think 2012 related to the basic difference between cruise and ballistic missile ballistic missile will be aided by gravity they follow a projectile path you can you can control them in the initial path only and after that they will follow their own path like aided by gravity projectile path but cruise missile you can have more control over cruise missile as far as brahmos is concerned can it carry nuclear warhead the answer is yes and no most of the people they agree that yes but officially nothing has been confirmed yet but again yes but again no no again we are not giving a direct answer but hope you got the hint what i'm saying here so again there is a fear which is there among our neighboring countries whenever we talk about brahmos so name is derived from two rivers and we have talked about this it is the fastest supersonic cruise missile in the world when we talk about all weather friend of ours russia is at the top israel is also helping us in some way or the other us more or less we have transactional relationship especially when trump comes it's all about quid pro quo when it comes to us but as you can see here Russia has helped us a lot in the past and even in present as well. And we want this relationship to continue. Subsonic, supersonic and hypersonic. I have told you the definition. Again, if you want to reiterate it, you can reiterate it in the comment section. Also, what is your view on this whole development? Do you support it? Many people are like, oh my God, we are wasting so much money on defense. We can use it on health and education. But then again, India is a country which is surrounded by volatile neighbors. And you know, you can change anyone. But you cannot change your neighbors, however bad they are. So key features range initially 290 kilometers and now it is extending. It like we also want to develop uh, Brahmos 2, 3 and so on and so forth. Speed supersonic, we have talked about it, can carry conventional warhead, nuclear capability. Many people are interested in knowing that. It is possible, but again, since it is so so strategic, so officially it has not been confirmed. But more yes than no. Again, what do you think? Can it carry nuclear capability? If you feel like yes, please write it in the comment section. Accuracy, extremely precise and that's why China and Pakistan, they are so worried. And China especially worried because we want to sell it to Philippines. From where you can launch this BrahMos missile? From anywhere. From land, from navy, like you know, from water, from submarine, from air, anywhere and everywhere you can launch it. Again, an issue which is causing a lot of concern for two countries. So strategic importance acts as a deterrent since many official scholars believe it can carry, carry nuclear warhead and that's why people are very worried. Two countries are very worried. Plus, you can launch it from anywhere and everywhere as you can see, subsonic, naval warships and you know, from air and everything. So again, that is also a issue. Plus, it is a cruise missile. And as we have just discussed, cruise missile, you have more control. Like you can control the strategic location where it will be hitting at the target but you don't have that much control in ballistic missile like Agni and all so enhances India's first strike and second strike capabilities export potential and this is the point which we were discussing earlier where China is having issues that no please don't sell it to Philippines again we are autonomous we can sell it to anyone we want China and we don't want your permission like there was a movie uh, gangs of Wasipur, permission leni chahiye and like you should have taken permission but here we don't need anybody's permission we can sell it to anybody we want to you know and we don't care what china and pakistan think regarding that this is a question related to brahmos missile three statements given in front of you if you know the answer of this question please comment like write the answer in the comment section what do you think is the correct answer then second question, BrahMos missile recently in news for being tested and integrated, where is this facility located? Also, what are your views on this development? Do you support this inauguration which has happened in Lucknow or do you think that mm, it's a good development but we need more or do you think it's a wastage of money, it should be invested in health ed education but again, I don't think many people will be thinking in that regard based on what we are witnessing or what we have witnessed just now. So whatever are your views on this particular development, feel free to share it in the comment section. I will share this PDF along with the answer of the two questions which I just asked you. If you know the answer, you can post it in the comment section. I will share this PDF in this Telegram channel of mine. Fun study with Shubh because study should be fun. Very good. And also, if you are a serious UPSC 2026 aspirant, then our May evening batch admissions are closing on 15th May 2025. You can use my code SHS Live to get maximum discount and 
प्लीज अवेल दिस कोर्स एट दी अर्लीस्ट बिकॉज सून यू स्टार्ट द बेटर योर प्रिपरेशन विल बी द मोर गाइडेड योर प्रिपरेशन विल बी एंड ऑल दीज यू नो कोर्स क्लासेस द मेंटरशिप एवरीथिंग विल हेल्प यू अलॉट सो ज्वाइन एट दी अर्लीस्ट यूज माई कोर एस एच एस लाइफ टू गेट मैक्सिमम डिस्काउंट वट एवर आर योर व्यूज ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर डेवलपमेंट फील फ्री टू शेयर इट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन सो दैट्स इट फॉर मी टेक केयर बी ब्लस्ट सी यू सुन